What is kill? Kill is a feeling you get when you did something wrong. Kill is a feeling people typically have after doing something wrong intentionally or accidentally. Guilt also describes the sense of regret or responsibility that relate to actions taken. People may feel guilty over things they actually did wrong, things they believe were their fault, or things they have no responsibility for. If you feel guilty, it means you feel bad about something you should not have done or should have done but you did not. Guilt is not necessarily bad. Sometimes, it's been productive. Guilt can be beneficial when they inspire a person to make changes in their behavior. Like feeling bad after making a mistake can lead to change such as apology, or a decision to make different choices in the future. But also, guilt is sometimes unhelpful. It can cause physical symptoms like self-doubt, decreased self esteem and shame. It can be difficult to overcome these feelings. There are different types of guilt. First is reactive guilt. It happened when the person believes they have act against either their own personal beliefs of what is morally good or the standard society has for acceptable behavior. Second, anticipatory guilt. This guilt is the result of thinking about acting against personal moral standards or the standards of society. A person may choose not to take a certain actions because they know it is wrong or believe it may hurt others. So shame is a feeling that your whole self is wrong and it may not be related to a specific behavior or event. So shame is a feeling that you're bad, worthy of contempt, or inadequate as a person. Shame is also relating to our behavior or self, often in relation to other people's opinions, not necessarily about a specific behavior or event. So in other words, shame is unpleasant self-conscious emotions typically associated with the negative evaluations of the self, withdrawal of motivations, and feelings of distress, exposures, mistrust, powerlessness, and worthlessness. And also shame is a painful feeling that mix of regret, self-hate, and dishonor. Shame makes us direct our focus inward and view our entire self in a negative. And there are types of shame. First, transcend shame. Transcend shame refers to that fleeting feeling you get when you make a mistake, perhaps in a social setting usually passes quickly and doesn't create a problem in your life. And next is chronic shame. Chronic shame refers to a feeling that is with you all the time and makes you feel as though you are not good enough. This type of shame can impair your functioning and mental health. And last is shame in the form of humiliation. Humiliation is the most intense form of shame. It comes about when we are critically embarrassed about something. Often, this is felt when something happens in front of other people. So, on the other hand, shame refers to something about your character or who you are as a person. While you might believe that if you feel shame, that must mean that you are a girl or are a shameful person. This is necessarily the case. Shame is not about doing something wrong. It is about the feeling that you have when you perceive that you are by yourself or others as not good enough in some way. For example, a good person would feel shame if they cheat on a test or exam or did something mean to her best friend.